My name is Jordan Kuhn. I'm currently 21 years old and I hate horror games. You see, I only hate horror games too, specifically. The horror genre in general is, it's cool, I guess. It's interesting, you know what I'm saying? Halloween is I, you know, free candy and death, but I also hate it at the same time. You see, while growing up, I was the normal kid that liked Sonic the Hedgehog and Kingdom Hearts and shit like that. But you know, some kids are just built differently. They grow up genetically enhanced so to speak. They fucking love death, and it's kinda wild how much you niggas love death so much. Do you see this little motherfucker on the screen? I currently could shit stomp and kick him across a football field, no problem. But back then, this nigga was my fear. I don't know how the fuck I was afraid of this. Bitch, how are you getting folded by this doll? And I honestly don't think anyone's seen Chucky in a minute. The only way you'll see Chucky is if you see a Dominican girl's room. And if you see Chucky in a Dominican girl's room, run. You see, I have a reputation of playing a few horror games and bitching out. And that's just because I can't handle it. I was traumatized as a kid, and nowadays niggas expect me to play that shit for fun? <laughs> no. Listen, I don't know how Corey Kenshin and Berlizzi does this shit, but money but you know <laughs> listen i hate playing horror games that you can't fight back in because listen listen who the fuck realistically goes into any of these situations unprepared like drastically unprepared like that's like going rock climbing and you just bring clothes nigga where's the rest of your gear at why are you not strapped up armed to the teeth like outlast i know a lot of you know about outlast who the fuck goes into an insane asylum with a half charged camera his main instrument is a camera and that bitch didn't even bring extra batteries no gun no strap no nothing my main pet peeve is that he found more batteries than weapons and i did play that game and you know i had a berlizzi moment and then there's resident evil i was able to play a few resident evil games and i love them actually because i'm able to fight back like it's still scary without it being unrealistically scary at least i can have a glick and if i die it's my fault that's what the difference is i hate horror games because you just have to do the correct thing in the correct order and run for your fucking life it penalizes you for not knowing what the fuck to do <laughs> that's what i hate about it i don't actually hate horror games it's because i would never put myself in those stupid ass situations listen listen i would never go to a pizzeria for a minimum wage job without a strap <laughs> especially if i knew that there was a high chance that i could die you mean to tell me the only deterrent i have is a flashlight and a door hell no i'm bringing the desert eagle i'm bringing the glick glock 3000 and i'm bringing ito i'm not about to die to no fucking thick ass robot bird thing no, you're not about to kill me, bitch. But where was I going with this, you might be wondering. Is, did I just come here to make a video about shitting on horror games and that was it? No, that's that's not what it is. I'ma need the horror game community to not get smarter with developing shit because they get interesting enough that even I want to play them, but then I fuck myself. You see, I'm an anime dude, right? Anime interests me horror does not but if you put anime and horror together it's gonna interest me enough to outweigh the horror and that's exactly what psycho did now psycho no satuka satuka Sa how the fuck do you say this psycho no satuka sutoka nigga i'm black don't don't get on me i pronounced shing cho as zinkui for a fucking brick and a half and i still get flamed for it leave me alone Listen, this game is too fucking much. It's made by an indie developer and it fucked me up. Now, I'm not out here scared like where I'm like walking around my house like, oh, she's gonna be there in the corner. No, I'm not like that. But like, I don't want to touch this game in the slightest. Let me let me just give you a little background on this game, right? It's actually really good. That's why I keep playing it. So essentially in this game, in the first ever mission, you play as a random boy. Let's call him Boy B, right? So Boy B is going into the school to find boy a which is his friend when you get there you see the yandere she's the killer the yandere is hiding boy a somewhere in the school boy b doesn't know that so boy b is just trying to find boy a and leave that's literally it so you can play it the normal way and follow her instructions to the t but then you'll end up getting clapped or you can be a thug and go off rails but then you'll still get clapped so at the end of the day it doesn't matter boy b gets clapped okay that's all i'm saying boy b still ends up dead now boy a 
is a whole different scenario. I don't know who the fuck made this game. Dude, if you if you ever see this video, the dude that made this game, you should not put your brain power into making horror games because they're so good that they're terrifying. It's too much. This game is the right amount of scary and interesting. This game, you can actually interact with the killer and, you know, also die from the killer. So now while boy B might not have it as easy with the Yandere, boy A has it extremely better. Now it's still terrifying because she will chop you in half, but at the same time, she's also very lovey-dovey to you too. And that's indicated with pink text. And then if she's trying to kill you, she has red text. And that's the problem. In pink text, she's so lovey-dovey and playful that it's kind of adorable, but it's still scary as fuck at the same time. She does shit that no other horror game does. She just interacts with you, bro. She playfully takes the fucking key from you and runs away and has you chase her. Why the fuck am I chasing a killer? When you turn around, she does this animation where she gets on your back and she's chilling on your back and whispers in your ear. And those are pretty, you know, creepy, but they're not scary. The scariest part is when you're getting chased around the fucking building. Because here's the thing. She is one of the only niggas in, uni in the universe that I have seen do this besides some Resident Evil bosses. And even then, the Resident Evil bosses don't even have this much AI intelligence. Listen, I'ma just play this clip in full, watch it, and then you'll understand. Nigga, I don't play video games, bro. Can I just... Oh. <laughs> Bitch on my track star. Bitch on my track star. Bro, fuck this game, bro. Did you see that shit? She was behind me, juked my ass, and choked me out around the corner. I have never seen a boss do that. Now, here's the thing. I played this game prior to me streaming this, so I knew she could do that, and I still didn't expect her to spin move me. There was another time that I did this, and she juked my ass and was waiting on top of the stairs and chopped me in half. So I knew she could do it, but yet my brain still wasn't on that. It was on run mode. It's actually pretty entertaining. I've been watching videos on it. That's how much I actually am interested in this game, but it's not interesting enough for me to actually beat this hoe. See, I want to try nightmare mode, which is this fucking cursed ass picture, but I don't because you know, I'll probably shit on myself. She does other things too, y'all. In other game modes, she actually hides in corners and waits for you and shit. I seen this video where she turned off the electrical power. And then when you walk in there to turn it on, her face was just waiting there for you. She was just waiting in the corner. I've never seen a boss puppy guard that said to me you know if you like that please leave a like and subscribe you know i make content i think uh <laughs> yeah I, I do make content whatever i feel like so yeah leave a like and subscribe i do stream on twitch so go give me a follow on twitch and i'll talk to you guys later